Hey, what's going on everyone? This is Mitch. Good Saturday afternoon, Saturday evening, whenever you may be watching this video. Um, I got you an update on a couple things. Uh, the chances for severe weather have unfortunately increased for tomorrow. So that's really what's going to, that's really what is this video is really going to be about. That's all we're going to talk about. As you can tell, there's not a ton of uh, panels pulled up here. So it just tells you it's not going to be a super long video, but we're going to give you some uh, pretty good information for you folks in the deep south and the Carolinas that are unfortunately going to be under the gun again. Some of the same areas that got the awful weather last night uh, could get some nasty weather again uh, tomorrow, but I'm not going to compare it to what we saw obviously last night. So speaking on last night, you know, I've been, you know, I certainly have been praying uh, throughout the day and I know a lot of other people have to and we need to continue to pray for those folks. If you if you feel like you can do something outside of prayer, of course, um, you know, by all means, uh, these people probably need all the help they can get. I'm still have not seen any GoFundMes or anything like that or or, or, or any kind of donations set up or anything like that. If you guys see it, definitely throw it in the comments and I would love to uh, definitely contribute in any way that I can. I know a lot of other people would too. So uh, we're certainly thinking about you guys out there. You know, um, the last time, the last thing I checked, I believe 23 people lost their lives. And that's just, uh, it's just awful. It is. And it just seems like we have at least one event like this that happens once a spring or either sometime in fall, spring, severe weather season. And uh, it's just devastating. It's always awful. And with all this technology we got with these drones and stuff like that, and uh, just the huge massive influx of storm chasers that, you know, you know, are, are just there. Um, we certainly get a better bird's eye of what's exactly happened. And uh, fortunately, you know, even some storm chasers were impacted by this and got just too close. And when it's a nighttime situation, I mean, most of the time, I don't want nothing to do with it as a, I would say, a part time storm chaser. I'm not able to chase all these events, but I chase sometimes, as you guys know. But when it when the night, I mean, when you lose sunlight, I mean, you're just um, you're flirting with disaster and that disaster could be your life. But um, that being said, let's get rolling. If you folks have not subscribed, certainly consider doing that. Like the video if you like it. It goes a long way. And if you guys got anything that I can pray about or pray over, as always, please put it in the comments below so I can do that. And I know we're all um, got our prayers full over the next uh, several days. And we're certainly never going to forget what happened in southwest Mississippi and the towns and communities down there. So um what's going on right now well the, the main meat of the surface low is up here we're getting some storms firing up um you know in portions of the northeast and the ohio valley let me know what you're seeing up there but really what's going on is some kind of boundary is going to stall out right into here now this is going to wiggle back and forth so with this boundary this is where all your storms are going to fire up you gotta you know just enough spin to the atmosphere that you're going to have a little bit of a tornado threat. There's going to be a spin to the atmosphere because you have two colliding boundaries. Uh, you got a directional flow moving into two different directions because you got a boundary in place, which when you have a boundary, you normally have two different air masses colliding from two different directions or from a different direction, if that makes sense. But you're going to have rounds of storms in this area right in here. And I, and I would actually push this little area right here a little bit further south. So more so in kind of this area, this is all over the place, but you, you get what I'm saying, guys. You're going to have storms in the deep south um, tomorrow, and this could be probably centered more so in this area right into here. You're going to have a big hail threat, I would say, right into here. So let's get going. Speaking of all of that, let's uh, get rid of this storm prediction center. If I'm everywhere, guys, it's because uh, I've had a really, really, really long day just with, with coaching. And, um, and then my girls had um, kids choir. They had their play today. It was day one of two. So it's a, it's a really busy weekend. So kind of jumped on this and wanted to get this on out. Going, going to get this out to you guys as quick as possible because I got a couple other things going on tonight. But as of about two hours ago, we had an enhanced risk now issued. This does include Jackson and just south of Jackson all the way into portions of far eastern Louisiana, and this extends all the way into south central Alabama, and enhanced risk is up. Now, when I immediately saw this come up this afternoon, I'm not going to lie, I thought this was driven off a of tor increased tornado risk, but it's not. Um, it's an increased hell risk, but you got a slight risk now that extends all the way through Columbia, Wilmington, Charleston, might as well say Savannah. This might get bumped up to Atlanta, 
And uh, the tornado risk is a 5% risk within 25 miles in any given location in this massive brown area that extends just south of Columbia all the way through Alexandria, Louisiana. It includes Jackson. It includes, uh, includes Montgomery, Alabama, Columbus, all the way into portions of the low country of South Carolina. So the wind threat will be there. There's a 15% risk of damaging winds of 50 knots or higher within 25 miles in a given location. That's 55 to 60 miles per hour. And there is a hell threat, guys. There is a 15% risk of hell um, pushing one inch or diameter in the yellow area. And then in the red area, there's at least a 30% chance of hell pushing one inch or diameter or larger, but there's also in this outlined black area with the dashes going in between it, there's also a, t uh, I'm sorry, a 10% chance they see significant hail, which is two inch or diameter or larger. So the hail is going to be a big deal in this area, but I would not be surprised. Someone's probably going to get a 10% risk of a tornado issued somewhere in here. Where is it going to be? Not quite sure. I'm not going to try to guess on that, but I really think you'll probably get something. And we'll see what happens with that. So let's see how these storms can evolve tomorrow. We'll start off at around midnight tonight, really 1 a.m., and they're already kicking off. Quickly, storms really get going at around 4 or 5 a.m. You could have some big-time storms around Meridian going all the way up to Tuscaloosa. Uh, maybe just south of Birmingham. I really think the best ingredients will stay south of Birmingham. But, I mean, you're getting into 5, 6 a.m. at this point. Some big-time storms. That It could already be some hell storms in central to south-central Alabama already in the wee hours of the morning. Then we're getting into right around the sun, starting to come up. Storms are starting to form down here in more southern sections of Mississippi. And you've got a big cluster of storms off the latest long-range A strip R model that really gets going. And uh, eastern Alabama moves into western Georgia, blasts through the Atlanta area. And then this actually, and we'll show you this here in a second in the Carolinas, this actually gets into the Carolinas. But we won't focus on that. But this will continue to move through Georgia. This could be a big damaging wind threat. At this point, we're around 9, 10 a.m. This is going to affect a lot of people in the south's uh, you know, early morning church runs, things like that. But you, uh, the storms aren't done when, it, when it's, the morning's over, right? So you got this trailing boundary, and you just got showers and downpours and storms that continue to fire down here. You're getting into about 1 to 2 p.m. You're still getting it. And then you got to watch out for these cells right in here. This was the area that was impacted by the big tornadoes. Okay, just south of y'all, some big-time storms fire up around dinner time tomorrow, and they could pack a punch. Hell, and there is going to be a risk of a quick spin-up. It's not going to be one area of storms. There's going to be multiple areas. Maybe they're all connected. Maybe they're not. I mean, this is what it could look like, look like around 7 p.m. tomorrow. Cluster of, storms, cluster of storms here in northeast Alabama and central uh, Mississippi. I'm sorry, northeast Louisiana, central Mississippi. Some storms down here in southeast Alabama southern half of uh, Georgia, and you keep this going, and I mean, it just keeps going. We're getting to the 10, 11 p.m. Nasty storms still remain, and it, I would say, you know, to me, it's looking like you got to be pretty much south of this area right into here, in, into this region right into here, south of this line that I just drew to, to get all the storms. Once you start to get up here, you get into more dry air. You're probably not going to get as much storm action tomorrow, but these storms will pack a punch. Hell, all threats, all threats are just not quite as high as like Friday night, but the hell threat is high, okay? We keep going, and, and you know, if we were to keep this going, the storms still remain. I mean, we're getting into the overnight hours of tomorrow night, and uh, you're still got storms all the way until Monday morning. It's still storming and portions of Alabama and Georgia, and uh, maybe some nasty cells just south of Atlanta. So this continues, and, uh, you know, it continues into Monday. You could have another marginal to slight risk up likely for Monday in southern Alabama where this trailing just boundary is just chilling. It's not going anywhere. So stormy next 72 hours for the Deep South, especially the southern half of the Deep South bordering the Gulf Coast. Let's talk about the Carolinas and more Georgia. I'm watching this. The latest HRRR model shows this. It shows a cluster of storms entering the northern half of Georgia. And this will blast through the upstate of South Carolina, blast through Aiken, um, Augusta, 
and around 10, 11 a.m., at this point it's 11 a.m., these, around 11 a.m. noon, this just plows through the Midlands of South Carolina, could have storms as far north as Charlotte to up to Fayetteville and Wilmington. And, uh, I mean, this is the latest HRRR model has a pretty nasty cluster of storms down here from Macon all the way up to Columbia, maybe even all the way to Florence. And then this pushes through a lot of heavy rain, makes it all the way to the coastline of North Carolina and South Carolina. Remember, it hadn't quite rained yet, so the atmosphere might have might be destabilizing in this area. So these storms could be more severe as we're getting into the middle of the afternoon, 4, 5 p.m., uh, you know, some clearing might happen, and then you'll have some rejuvenation of some more storms that might get going down here in the low country of South Carolina. you got that 5% risk of a tornado down here, here in Georgia, too. So we're getting into around dinner time tomorrow. You still got storms on going, and then another round surges all the way up into South Carolina, northern portions of Georgia. And uh, just a stormy overnight again tomorrow night. And we're waking up to more storms for our Monday morning. So these storms can pack a punch. All hazards are possible. This is going to be a tricky, tricky setup over the next 24 to 48 hours, I think. Um, and they could, it could be some bad surprises or, you know, it could just be some spring thunderstorms. But we got to watch this for sure. But the ingredients are there. And we'll just look at the deep south here. Um, but really what's going on, guys, is we're getting into tomorrow morning. You see this boundary? These are dew points. Dew points in the 50s and 40s and lower. Very dry, stable air. You're not getting any, any severe weather up here. But you get south of this boundary. If you're driving south uh, in Alabama, Mississippi, Georgia, Louisiana, you if you're in the northern part of the state and you're driving south, and you stop at the gas station, you'll think, okay, it's a nice crisp morning out here. Then you get all the way down here. You'll probably get out your car again, maybe stop at some wherever you're stopping. And you're like, dang, it feels like a totally different world. Well, it is pretty much. Dew points in the 60s and 70s, and it will feel like summertime, and it will feel like a storm is coming. And that'll be the case over the next 24, 48 hours. The stalled boundary, this humid air will try to reach all the way up to Tennessee, and the, where, wherever this boundary kind of fluctuates, that's where the storms will be, okay? And then, you know, it tries to push it back down, but it, it's going to be tough. And in response to high dew points, you're going to get higher cape levels. Now, this is only surface cape. It's going to show higher. Not the best thing to look at, but in general, I mean, this is tomorrow morning. You already got surface cape well over 1,000 joules per kilogram, but then you get into tomorrow afternoon, you got surface cape values getting to 25, 3,000 joules per kilogram. You're going to have a lot of cape down here in response to all this low-level moisture. So please be aware of storms tomorrow, okay? I know that you're thinking, well, dang, how are we going to be dealing with this again? Well, it's possible. I mean, you look at the updraft felicity swaths here. It shows us where you could have some spinning storms. And, I mean, it, it's there in Alabama, in Mississippi, portions of Georgia. I mean, you even get into the Carolinas. And uh, it indicates that, hey, some of these storms could be spinning tomorrow morning into tomorrow afternoon. So don't let your guard down with this. Don't don't let your guard down at all. It's going to be a next a very, very stormy. For example, it's a beautiful afternoon here in South Carolina. Um, the rain cleared, and you, you're probably thinking there ain't no way uh, storms are coming, but but they are. So just be, just be aware. Be aware of that. Um, let's hope that we don't have any bad surprises. But um, I'll get you a more detailed update tomorrow morning. We'll know a lot more. There will be ongoing storms by the time I make the video tomorrow morning. But that's all I got, guys. Stay safe out there. God bless all y'all, and uh, I'll talk to you in the morning.